Hello everybody, welcome back to another installation of Gravel Road Garage on the Redneck Enterprise channel. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to call this show uh, Gravel Road Garage anymore because I'm in a, a heated, concrete floored, it'll be a little bit dirty garage. A friend of mine let me borrow it because it's freaking cold outside. But uh, yeah, today we got a little bit of work to do. Ellie needs fuel fills are replaced, which actually is like right under here, right inside the frame rail. You guys see that in a little bit. And then also, there's a big flange that comes, the downpipes come in from the exhaust manifolds and they come to a big flange plate and there's another plate on the other side that leads to the cats and the rest of the exhaust system. So this little gasket in there that goes in between, on Ellie it's blown and Ellie's got like a really weird choppy sounding exhaust and you can hear it a little bit and it does sound kind of cool but i want to fix it so actually we'll do a quick little kind of start up so you guys can hear what i'm talking about and then we'll get into replacing everything that flange right there guys you can see it's rusty and i can feel a little bit of exhaust gas puffing out right here so yeah that's our problem that's what needs to be replaced you can see it's already blown out there sticks well there's pieces sticking out of it so we're gonna have that replaced and uh yeah that's gonna fix up this puff puff and it's gonna make the exhaust a lot cleaner and stop throwing air codes because i got no two cents right there and this is letting in air and it's throwing off my engine Ugh and making it throw lean codes and such. So that's a bad thing. We're gonna shut off the truck now and we're gonna start replacing things so that we can really get into, well, working on it. And actually, Ellie is now at 357,750 kilometers. It's crazy. I've had this truck for, actually no, a little bit over a month now. And I've already put on 3,000 some kilometers on it. So yeah, it's, it's been a lot. All right, guys, so now we're under the truck. And um, uh, on these late 90s trucks, so like I think from 96 to 98 is when they discontinued the body cell, the fuel filter is actually right here, right here on the frame rail. Now, I'm not sure how much you guys can see that, so I'll just bring you over here. Right there. This little cylindrical PC do right here. So. So your fuel line coming from the tank, your fuel line going to your injectors, and then this back here is your return line on your fuel injection system. So we gotta undo this thing from, oop, getting water on me. Gotta undo this thing from the fuel, and then uh, we'll do a blow test, see how plugged it is, because I think it's not terrible, but I do wanna get it replaced just so I don't have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, we'll get that replaced and fire it up see if it stumbles or stutters anymore, and then we'll do the exhaust. Well, actually, you know what? I think we're gonna do the fuel filter, fire it up, just make sure it doesn't leak, and then do the exhaust. Because if this leaks, I'm not going anywhere. As you can see, this is our old filter, all grungy, plugged up, supposedly. Put that cloth right there. And then this is our brand spanking new filter from AC Delco. So uh, I'm going to try and just slide this little bugger off, get him out of his little retainer. Oh, it's plastic. I didn't know that. So 
Just gonna slowly wiggle it off. Bam, slides right out just like that. But it only slides out the one way because there is that big lip there. So you gotta keep that in mind if you end up replacing one of these. And just to add into ease of egress, we're gonna clean the inside of this little guy here. Just as good as we can, use a little bit of gasoline that's on the bench. Kind of wipe some of the mud off in there. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt and crap in here. Just try and wipe it off as good as we can. Doesn't need to be sterile, but there we go. See, much cleaner than it was before. Should be able to slide this new one on. But before that, I can blow through this like I'm not holding anything to my lips. Now let's just clean some of the excess gasoline off this. Oh, just spurted gasoline all over the place, but yeah, I can tell there's a huge restriction on that. I really need to put pressure through it to get anything out of there. Bleah. Gasoline. But uh, yeah, so this, breathe, breathe through it like nothing. This, you have to put some pressure there. And that's just air. Now imagine a liquid fuel trying to get through that. Now this isn't plugged right up, but it's not good. This should help ease the fuel delivery way more. So we're gonna get this little guy slid onto our little retainer clip. Now we can see on this one, it was only to about here was where it sat. So try and match that about halfway. I'd say right about there is where it sat. But see, it's nice and loose enough that it can move either way when we're installing it pretty easily. Oh, look at that, right on there, it even says flow. So your rounded edge, <coughs> sorry, there's just so much gas in the air. But yeah, it says right there on the part code flow. So your rounded edge is gonna be towards your tank. Your crimped edge or your welded edge or whatever you wanna call it, your straight edge here is gonna be towards your injector bank. And uh, there, well, now we got the new fuel filter. We got the new filter, we're gonna throw it up in there, bolt it back in, and uh, thread in the lines, crank the truck over, make sure that you know we did it properly and we got no leaks out of either end of the filter. So <clears throat> let's get back into the truck and uh, get on with reinstalling this. All right, guys, so now that I got the lines put back on there, what's next is we're gonna take some paper towel and we're just gonna wipe it down a little bit just so that there's no like gas sitting there. And then we're gonna fire the truck up and double check, make sure that there is in fact no fuel leaking and then we'll be done the fuel filter part of it. All right guys, so now that we're done placing the fuel to filter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the truck prime a little bit. Actually gotta grab my key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the truck on and wait to hear all the accessories and everything kick on. And then we'll hear the fuel pump. So. That little high pitched word, that was the fuel pump. We're gonna Turn the truck back off, turn it back on. We're just gonna do that a couple times till we are sure that the truck is primed, so. Okay. See, it's starting to do less and less because it knows that's fuel, full of fuel. See, that time it didn't even do it. So that means that the system is full of fuel. We're gonna try firing up fires right up. Now we just gotta double check. No fuel leaking, my friend. I call that a successful replacement of a very simple to replace part. I shouldn't be happy. But anytime anything on a project vehicle goes right, you should be bloody ecstatic. Trust me, it doesn't happen often. Just love that it works and move on. All right, guys, I'm not sure how the light's going to be in here. I'm just running off my cab lights here. Actually, I can turn on these. A little bit more light. But um, long story short, the gasket thing that we were supposed to do, I double-checked what I needed, and I don't have any high-temp RTV, which you kind of sort of need for that. It's recommended to have some exhaust-grade RTV, and I don't have that. I, I had my gasket. We are good to go. But before I start taking everything apart, I noticed that there's some RTV in there. I'm like, ooh, do I need RTV? And yeah, turns out you need some high temp RTV, which I don't have. But fuel filter is all done, so Ellie's going to be great for the road trip tomorrow. Either way, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. 
And you like the new idea of not doing the head mount so much. Because I've noticed that whenever I use the head mount under a vehicle, it stares straight at whatever I'm not working at. So hopefully using the little tripod do that ah, worked a little bit better, except now it's broken. Sweet. <laughs> I got my use out of it. We're all good. <laughs> but um, no, I hope you guys had a good viewing session and you all learned something. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Later. Later.